How's it going guys and welcome back on another episode on Jujutsu Kaisen episode 40. With all the nice animation, with all the climax, with all the fight scenes, with all the character development, I get to say that this year Jujutsu Kaisen on MAPPA literally brought it. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's check out the next episode and see what took place. Sekono literally obliterated Jugon on the last episode. That idiot, I don't know how he made it. He's still alive and Fushigoro is, is now on his last legs. He needs to find a way to beat this guy. Once and for all, else this guy is gonna stab him to death. I don't know how he just keeps coming back. What is Fushiguro doing?
Mm? Sekono felt that. Sekono felt when Fushiguro activated something. Matana Uraume. So what is what I'm observing from this, what it seems is that Ushiguro clan and Gojo clan are one of the most strongest clans out there. Which is the reason why when they fight it's like it's like something extraordinary. Ooh. What was that? What did he just do? He put him on the Genjutsu or something. This thing is gonna pummel him till I guess he dies or something. Oh, Sekuno is here. Oh, don't die yet. Sekuno doesn't want Fushiguro to die either. Man, what is this guy's... What is Sekuno's ambition? Nobody knows really right now. This this season is just so intense, ladies and gentlemen. I got to say that I am digging it. I dig it, man. Things are like season two just is so much better. Ooh. Sui! Sui! <laughs> Look at that power, man. And Sekuno is just... <laughs> Sekuno is just relaxed, man. This guy, this thing. This thing called Sekuno is in another level, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Sui. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa. This thing ain't scared to take on Sekuno, ladies and gentlemen.
This one is actually taking the fight to second though. He's not scared. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This thing is lit. Ooh, he kicked it right back. He's running. Ooh. He's running for his life now. For his own safety. Damn. These two thus far are literally taking the fight to each other and evenly matched. This thing is, is, I don't know if it is laughing, if it is smiling, or if it is. Ooh! Mm. Oh my goodness. This city is going to crumble. Shibuya city will fall, man, if this continues. A lot of destructions has been done already, but with these two... Ooh! Hmm. Sweet. Did he just hit second with train? Wow. Took his arm off. Ooh. This then is still coming. This then is still coming. I'm speechless at this point, ladies and gentlemen. I'm speechless. What's that?
Oh, plane. Damn. They burn in plane. Ooh. Mm. Damn. Oh my goodness. They are literal they are rocking this whole city apart. Ooh, they're close to each other, but I think Sekundo might have one up on them. Ooh. My goodness. This is strength in another level. This is literally power and strength in another level. So the name of this thing is Makura. This is all Fushigoro's doing? This is literally all Fushigoro's doing.
Yuji is back. Itadori is back. He's back. Maybe not. Oh, he's gone. Itadori has taken over. Itadori is back. Itadori is back. Yeah. Oh, the battle Sekuna was Sekuna had. Itadori just felt it all, all felt everything all at once. Wow, look at the radius. The radius of his domain expansion and the damage he has done. <laughs> no wonder Itadori couldn't believe it. He just upset right now that only him did all of this. Of course, Sekuno did it, but These guys are cutting buildings in half, using trains, cars, on the ground parking lot. I see. Naruhodo. Oh? Nanami. He survived. Oh, so part of his face has been burnt. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe that Nanami is still alive, y'all. How in the blue moon did he survive? We saw Jugo. Jugo literally obliterated, set Nanami on fire. He literally set him ablaze. And we saw it with our own two naked eyes. So they better explain how in the blue moon okay they need to explain how nanami survived the attack because frankly speaking i cannot comprehend how he survived 
it just does not make sense ladies and gentlemen and we get to know on the next episode let that be their priority or one of their priorities to let us know how Nanami survived because it just does not make sense. It just does not add up. I just cannot comprehend unless it is explained to me. All right. Next episode, right and wrong. Man, Itadori wakes up. After Sekuno has done his bidding or has done what he wants to do and sees the amount of destruction, the amount of Tetumoshiro, the amount of despair it has caused or Sekuno has caused with his body, the Itadori just cannot believe it. He is just at this point he is just he just hates Sekuno right now so bad and I'm sure deep down Itadori is probably like you know what I just I'm just gonna have to do what I need to do I'm just gonna have to keep going I'm just gonna have to keep moving forward and fight harder as hard as this this thing is making it harder for me, I'm going to have to keep fighting as well. So on the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get to see what became the aftermath of this fight. So on that note, thank you guys for joining me. If you do like the content, if you do like the channel, please do not forget to support the channel by subscribing. If you have not, turn on the notification bell if you have now so that when i do post content you will get the notification and also like the video and comment and let me know uh your thoughts on jujitsu kaisen season 2 thus far or if you have any additional uh thoughts to add on how this episode made you feel how you felt what is it about this episode that stood out amongst the others right because we have never seen Sekuna use his powers to this level, to use his power, his power to this magnitude. Um, I think from what I gathered, uh, Fushiguro clan and Gojo clan, uh, they are one of the most powerful sorcerers, you know, based on this anime. So, you know, which, which can also, which I can also see the reason why uh, Gojo had to uh, acquire or bring Fushiguro to the sorcery school, right? After Zen and his father abandoned them, Gojo understood that, you know, if he doesn't know the next attack, when it's going to come, who is going to come from, how heavy it's going to be, he might as well, um, you know, have a Fushiguro bloodline who is good who will fight on the good side, right? So that's my perspective on that note. Stay safe, keep on keeping on, and see you guys in the next video.